Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the Move tool. Move tool is the feature of Adobe Photoshop which gives you the feature, the help to move your image, your selected area or your layer anywhere you want in Photoshop by just dragging with the mouse. So let's go ahead and learn about the Move tool. Move tool helps me move any image, layer or selection. Now, we just learned about making selections just in a while in my next tutorial. You can easily cut and drag any location, any pixel and move it to the new location. The hotkey with which we can move the move tool, we can use the move tool is V. So by just clicking V in the keyboard, by pressing V in the keyboard, you can use this tool or you can optionally click on the move tool. Auto select option. Now all these options are placed just below the menu bar. So whenever you click a tool, that option bar will open. So this option bar has these following options. The auto select option is the option which lets you, for instance, you have an image which has multiple layers and by moving, using the move tool, if you click at a place, the Photoshop will help you tell which layer are you talking about though it's not very precise but at many times it does help you so by default it's always checked the transform option basically lets you create transformations Now this topic will be discussed in a later video group and layers so this, this helps this option helps you group the layers different layers using the move tool and the vertical and horizontal spacing options help you space your objects through the move tool so let's dive in Photoshop and learn and understand this tool in a much better way. Let's begin. Let's move into the move tool in Photoshop. The so move tool is the first one here. If I'm somewhere else in the toolbox, I can just click V and my move tool gets started. My move tool is here, the first one here, and this is activated. Let me move this. I cannot do this. It says your background is a background layer. So I want to convert this into a normal layer by clicking here on the padlock. Now I can move this layer. So you can see this layer can be moved wherever you want. Now if I want to make a copy and move it, I'm going to show later how do I do it. Now the move tool also have a lot of things here. I can go here and if I want to move the entire group, I can do that. Okay, so this thing, show transformation control, basically gives it a bounding box. And when you do this, you can have your bounding box. You can transform this image. You can scale this image by going up and down from the corners. Basically do this. So I have this. Now let me just copy it, this, and bring it that side. So I can rotate this tool and make them look like this. Let me go back. And I can also by just clicking on control and get here, I can just do this and with control, I can bring it here. So I can just change the look of this by using, pressing my control and flipping it over. Now my, actually this looks like this has been placed that ways. Let me do one more thing. Let me just do a copy of this layer. I'm going to apply this by pressing enter and I do a control J. And again on this one, I bring it or just let me just press alt and I can just reverse it. So I have these two. So I'm going to move this layer. I go here and I'm going to move this layer and I need to apply the transformation. So let me just try. So you apply by pressing here want to cancel you press it so let me apply this so I have these two layers I can again go back to this layer and move this layer the way I want now I can go back and I can also untick this is if I want to remove these bounding boxes so let me do this and now if I want to rub and make a better picture I use the eraser tool now I'm going to discuss the eraser tool in detail when we move on to the eraser tool right now I'm using my eraser tool to actually get this image from below so let me do it I'm actually having this tool here I can again uh, going back to V and moving tool and I would like to have some gap in here 
and again I go back to this tool start rubbing it in by using my eraser tool so I can just do this we move it a bit further again we bring it there and again so this can be done nature if you have more time and use more tool but just giving you a brief so by moving the move tool we can move away and so this will be done neater when we have the time so this can actually be done in super cool way so use the move tool and move wherever you want again this image can be moved again if I make this active we can move the tools again so move tool is super cool and you can use it to move your elements here and there we can enable this and use these transformation for scaling distorting screwing flipping around the image so that's it in the move tool enjoy using the move tool and place your object anywhere you want